the next one is resolution test extension you can you know try your website in different resolutions when you click on one it will resize your window very good and here is all the popular resolutions but you can also add and you, you must explore the options the next extension doesn't have an icon in the extension area but you can find it in extensions page it's search preview for Google when you Google something web design for example it adds a thumbnail next to the results so when you look at this result you know it's Wikipedia it's you know it's about.com it's very very useful and I cannot tell you how useful it is very very good not just for designers for anybody sometimes you just uh, searching for uh, a certain website or a certain you know article and you don't know uh, the URL but you know the website so you just want to look to thumb thumbnails and you can find it easy the next extension splits your screen into two uh, columns you can open two websites maybe compare them or whatever very good but this extension um, forces you to write uh, the URLs of the websites the next one let me show it to you the second extension that splits your screen uh, frame two pages it take the last two open tabs and put them in the two frames but this one has two options you can view two columns or two rows so if you type one it will be two columns and it will open the last two tabs but if you type two will open them in two rows you can adjust also the size of each one the interesting thing is if you were on a two framed you know uh, website uh, you know tab and just click again it will frame um, one of the columns or rows to another columns or rows very cool you can also type the URL here to go to a certain website Good. when you view a tutorial or an article and you have this extension it see Google similar pages you click on it it will give you similar pages um, that has the same title or I don't know how it works but will show you results that uh, may be uh, similar to this page so you click any uh, one of them you can see that it may be really similar to that good good extension next one is Pendle or whatever name that is um, has a lot of options with the style sheets, forms, images useful for web designers to test their websites but you can disable CSS uh, you have ruler, you have color picker you have hide images you can um, do a lot of things in one extension you must explore the options if you're a web designer and you worked in Firefox you know Firebug now you can use it in Chrome Firebug edit HTML, CSS you know all that great things you can do with Firebug you can do it in Chrome at the beginning of the video I showed you how to disable or uninstall extensions from the extensions page but there is another way you can click on the extension icon and choose disable or uninstall and that will you know edit um, the extension uh, path you can also click on options if uh, it's enabled or you can click manage extensions to show you this page 
or click on the name of it to open the page on the Chrome extensions website. However, if uh, the icon is not um, visible in this area, like the Google extension I showed you, you must search for it uh, here in this page. Okay, I showed you my favorite Chrome extensions, but you can also search and explore the extensions and I'm sure you will find amazing uh, extensions to use. And um, there are extensions not just for designers, there are a lot of social networking extensions or maybe fun extensions or for Google Mail or Gmail or for um, maybe dictionary or YouTube just explore the extensions and not just for Chrome there are a lot of add-ons or plugins for other browsers like IE or Firefox so just explore them and please if you have any other extension that you love or that you think it's essential for designers write it on the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it thank you and please uh, comment and subscribe